All right, folks, so uh, last week the Congressional Black Caucus announced that they were not going to meet with President Donald Trump. Of course, they previously met with him uh, shortly after he took office, but they said in a letter to him that as a result of him not really answering any of the issues that they raised in the first meeting, they saw no purpose to have a second meeting. Now, we talked about it last week, and I think the Black Caucus should meet with President Donald Trump. Here's why. Uh, take it to the president. Don't just simply present the report, the 130-page report you presented last time. Now you have the actions taken by Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Now you have the court decisions when it comes to the voting rights cases. Now you have, of course, uh, Congressman Bob Goodlatte still refusing to hold uh, various congressional hearings. Now you have other actions that have been taking place. Now you have his budget that he's put forth that is going to decimate the civil rights offices. So what the CBC should do, they should meet with Trump. What they should also do when those cameras are there, say, Mr. President, tell the cameras to stay. Leave the cameras on. Have, a, have an open conversation, not one behind closed doors. Challenge the president in front of the media to answer their questions when it comes to the issues black folks care about. See, it's one thing for him to want the photo op, and we know that's exactly what he wants, uh, because this is all a big reality show. But the Black Caucus should press this president publicly on the record, ask him to his face, will he rescind the actions of Attorney General Jeff Sessions when it comes to changing sentencing reform? Will he rescind Jeff Sessions' decision telling prosecutors to vigorously uh, go after a low-level drug offenders? Will he rescind the decision to actually use private prisons on the federal level. That's what the CBC should be saying, looking him dead in his eyes, saying, are you going to rescind these actions, yes or no? Have the cameras there to record it. And so when you walk out, the president has no choice but to actually share his thoughts on all of those issues. See, un without meeting with him, then he's able to get away by saying, oh, I never had an opportunity to do so. I also believe that civil rights organizations should be doing the exact same thing, calling for a meeting with this president and challenging him. It is not going to help black America for us to simply ignore this president for four years. Now, the CBC certainly is not trying to ignore the president, and I get why they released that letter, but I say put this president on front street. Make him publicly, publicly own up and discuss these issues. But as long as he gets to glide over these issues, as long as he gets to ignore them, well, then we are more in peril. So, to Chairman Cedric Richmond, uh, to uh, co-chair Andre Carson and the others, I say, Mr. President, bring it. So I say, hit up Omarosa Man and Galton, tell her, oh yeah, we're gonna show up, not for reception, not for a meet and greet, not for a photo op, but we're here for business. And then let's see what Donald Trump has to say about the issues that are important to black folks. Greg Carr, what? What do you think? I'm with you, brother. If Cedric Richmond, if Brother Richmond just read the letter that they wrote in his face, that would be the strategy. If they did what you said, I think that would be, you have to bring it to him. That's what Monroe Trotta did to Woodward Wilson, and Wilson put him out of the White House in World War I, but it made a difference. We're still talking about it. Cedric Richmond definitely has the fire. You saw what he did to Steve King last week on the floor in the House mm -hmm. Hearing Committee. If they did what you say, that would force Trump to reveal himself. And again, Spencer, look, when you have the media there, you say, right. no, 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 leave the cameras here. Right. No, no. And, and then if Trump says, no, want the cameras to leave, fine, cameras leave, we leave. Yeah. I, but again, you, record yeah. the whole deal. Yeah, you make a good point. I think they're afraid they don't want it to just be another photo op. No, no, I get it. But what right. I'm saying is, take the meeting, yes. right. and then when the cameras are there, say, we want the cameras to stay. Mm -hmm. We want the cameras to be on the entire time. Mm -hmm. We want you to answer these questions openly. We represent yep. the people. The right. people should hear your answers. Your point. And then if he, then the president and the people say, well, no, mm -hmm. uh, the cameras have to leave, then you say, mm -hmm. we leave. Yeah. Uh, and take it a step further. Andre Carson is a Muslim. Let's go on this travel ban thing. You see Gorsuch has already sided and said, yeah, Mr. President, what about this intolerance? I stand here as a Muslim. I'm talking for all Americans now. What will you do? I like that, what right. you said, Roland. To take it to him, man. Sue, you in PR? No, I think, you know, we always say transparency is for government. I mean, I, I agree that, you know, government should be more transparent. You know, privacy is for individuals. So I think 
you know, as, as long as there's not a security issue, why not have it? Why, why, why would that be a security issue? No, I'm just saying, there's, as long as that's the not White a House. topic, <laughs> the then White House. there's no reason you for You can't get there unless you get your social security number and there's a background check <laughs> I, run. I don't mean for the participants, <laughs> I mean for the topics discussed. Unless you hang with oh, Trump. Right. There's, no secure, yeah. there's no security risk for the topic. On the CBC side. Now, right. Trump, you know, we can't speak well, for him. <laughs> he may have some tapes, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no kid. <laughs> Three days on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't no cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.